Hi everyone, uh, we're doing finally this little LA book haul. Little is uh, probably a bit ironic. It's a lot of books that I've ordered and some friends have been uh, gathering them in LA and when I was there uh, during Lightbox where I also picked up more art books, actually quite a few, um, I was able to, to gather everything and get it with me. Uh, had to buy a new <laughs> had to buy a new uh, suitcase, uh, left the country with more than I came in there. Um, but also, uh, many thanks to Terence uh, from Stuart Eng Books, uh, who has sent me uh, some of the books that have been keeping for me there, so I didn't have to get another suitcase. And also many thanks to Micah and Renaldo for uh, collecting these these books uh, that I ordered at uh, Flask. So we are... Um, we're going to uh, check out this pile here. It has to leave my desk. I have it here forever. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit cold here. That's why you have to deal with um, uh, me with a hood. Um, that being said, if you, if you know how unpleasant cold can be, please consider to donate to the people in Ukraine, because they are dealing with all of this right now without gas, without without energy, without um, electricity, and. Um, I mean, they uh, on top of everything that Vladov Putler is doing right now, they also have to um, to endure this cold. So if you have a couple bucks left, please just help if you can. All right, so we're starting with this little book here. So this is um, a sketchbook that I saw when I was at the booth of Design Studio Press, and I couldn't go past it without picking it up. Uh, the work of the Black Frog has been absolutely integral to me as on my little artistic journey when I was still doing art. Yes, that was a thing. Uh, no, I'm not showing it to you, but um, I did this, um, I had this, uh, can I call it thesis? In German we say Facharbeit uh, because um, I did my Abitur uh, and did a Facharbeit, my Fachabitur. Uh, and it was a graphic novel for about or on or what? It was a graphic novel uh, of uh, of Goethe's Faust uh, done in ink. And uh, the work that I found on Deviant Art from the Black Frog, without seeing that, I wouldn't have been able to know that it is possible to work so roughly and still achieve, like strive for skill in a very minimalistic way. And get this done. So, uh, Igor, thank you so much. Um, great sketchbook. Another one is this one. It's it's pretty full. Like it's it's bent a bit, and so I'm not sure if the 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 rings probably should have been a bit bigger or maybe bound differently. But still, I like it for what it is. Exactly because of that, it's a, a ten buck uh, sketchbook by um, Christophe Vaché or Vacher, or Vacher, I'm not sure. I don't want to mean to butcher it, but I got this one, and I got also this one, The Art of Christoph. I'm not saying the second name again. Pretty cool book. Um, printing quality is standard. Uh, it's probably not, not something a collector would... would uh, uh, need in their collection, but I want to because I like the work and, and that's what it should be about. Work is really good. Love it. What I also got is uh, this one. This is Della Longfish sketchbook number three. I always love when this is done. Bjorn did this too for the book that I did with him. Um, when you keep the paper texture, but put place it on a white background. I really dig that a lot. It's beautiful. And uh, if you can get your hands on it, I think Stuart Ang still sells them. They should still have a couple of copies left. This is also a really cool book. This is the art by Ape Taraki, but also the art of Rachel Reis. And this is like a double-sided sketchbook. Really cool. From this side, it's this one, from this side, it's this one. It would have been really cool if this book would have been bound in hardcover, like a sketchbook, like this sketchbook, for example, from uh, Sean, Sean Andrew Murray, who had also had a booth at Lightbox. This is exactly what I love. Like, this is everything. Um, 
the gold, the black. I like that. And what I also like is authenticity. I like it when the smudges are there and I like it when, when all that just shows like I actually bought the sketchbook, you know? So it's, it's, it's really a, a cool thing. Like if you can get your hands on this one, you definitely should, should buy this one. What else? I have David Coleman's Doodles. A nice little book. A little flip through so you can see what is in there. Also pretty cool. Um, another one I got was this one. So it's not a particularly, it was, it was this, this edition in specific was a bit expensive, uh, because it was one of the last ones they had left with some oatmeal glued on it, whatever. Uh, it's not particularly greatly printed or, or, or like, like super good, uh, paper. You actually see like, this is probably digitally printed. Um, and uh, it's a soft cover, but it was one of the few that had left. And I really had to get this one, not only because of the sketch, but also because it's really good stuff. It's good art. That's what it should be about, as I said. I'm really happy I got this one. So I've never seen a booth like the one of Tim. Everything was gold. He was gold. The art is gold. <laughs> it was just... Absolutely amazing. I'm really happy I got this one. Um, so they didn't have them on stock there. I bought it there, but they didn't, they were, they, they didn't have some of the copies. Uh, they didn't have enough copies is what I meant to say. So uh, I, I actually got, uh, I, I bought it at the booth and then they were like, okay, we're going to send it to you uh, free of charge, which is a great service and really smart. Uh, sadly, it was sent in some weird paper bag and got bumped a bit but uh that being said the slipcase got a, a few bumps but not the books uh and the art in there is super good super good number two just a little flip maybe i should do a more thorough review of these ones because it's really good stuff And number three, <laughs> this is, this is crazy, right? This is really good. Yeah. I really would like a, a really big book. The format is great, but still I would like to see a really big one. I mean, Tim, if you're up for it and if anyone <clears throat> can tell him, or if you are looking at this, then um, hit me up. I would love to do that. Um, there's one book here in between. This one I got at Marvel Studios during my tour. Um, thanks, Jana, for showing me around. It was the one art book they had. I haven't opened it, and I'm not really particularly interested in it as well, uh, I must say. But it was the one book they had, and I couldn't leave Marvel Studios without buying a book so that's why i got it i also got this one at lightbox um me being an idiot i just didn't pick it up i ordered it i paid for the sketch and everything and i i got it eventually uh, because it was sent to me and i was like hey guys i forgot to pick it up so that was great um from them and stupid from me but um this is Aaron's art is amazing, right? I don't really have to comment on that. And the book is really well produced. The printing quality is great. And um, it's, a, it's a good book. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't get past uh, the booth of Dean Yeagle. This is all very... Yeah, this, this is a lot of nudity in here. Um, this is gonna... I gotta, I'm gonna put this on Patreon. So Patreon is right now offering uh, video hosting. So I can just upload videos there uh, without YouTube uh, um, pissing at my content because they don't like nipples or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one of these videos that I'm doing for my patrons 
where we're looking through this thoroughly and you can actually check this out there. I also got this book, which is very well produced. This is really good. And I love the, the, the silk touch uh, surface. So Max uh, works in Procreate, works with Procreate. And he has uh, put out this, this great book. It's soft cover, but it should be. Sometimes this is just how it works. This is good. Um, I love the cover and you should get this book. It's really good. I'm, I'm really, I'm really commenting on this stuff super professionally, right? You should get it. It's good. This is good too. Like, I mean, this is, I saw this and I had to get it simply because of the packaging. And then on top of it, the art was also great. I'm going to steal this eventually. Like I really like this, 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 uh, uh, this foil bag thing. Um, I don't know how it's called in English, but <laughs> so Max did this little book here and, uh, and it's, it's, it's full of the stuff that I like, uh, crazy stuff and, um, and not taking himself too serious. This is, this is, this is absolutely great. You should get it. If you get past this booth or anything, if you don't buy it, it's your fault. Don't, don't say I didn't warn you. You should buy this book. Uh, this is dear to my heart because it's the number one <laughs> of a hundred that Esther Wu has been uh, putting out. This is the Wu bots. And the cool part about it is I recently got into Max. I mean, it started by, while I was working on Nikolai Georgiev's book, right? Um, I never was into Max before, but they really grew on me very fast. And now I'm working on this book with uh, Emerson, Emerson Tung, and uh, I really dig it. Uh, I, I wouldn't have thought that it can go that fast that someone i don't know like gets hooked by something but yeah i want i want more of that content this is a book uh, no it's just, uh, this is a book that is very dear to me because i went to peter hans booth peter is a good friend of mine i would say i would say um and i was like yeah i gotta get this one and he's like oh no i'm gonna give it to you it's a gift and he added a sketch on top of everything I feel like Gimli, when he asked for for a, a lock of hair, and I don't, I don't know how many he got, but he got a bunch. I didn't really got more than I asked for. I just wanted to buy this book, and he gave it to me and also added a sketch. If you follow Peter Peter's work, he's right now working on a piece for the blacksmith and uh, painting it with, uh, coloring it with aquarels. And... Um, you should check out his current social media. It's really, really good stuff. Thanks again, Peter. So another stack of, of books that I got were books that I ordered from uh, several places and I had them sent to uh, Micah's place and, and Reynaldo's place. And they've been keeping the stuff there for me. Um, one of them was the, the sketchbooks uh, of J. Scott Campbell. But on top of it, they also went to several, like Micah went to several uh, conventions and people were giving her, were giving her art books and, and, mag and, and art zines and uh, she just gave them to me. Thank you. So if you don't have these, again, authenticity, it's all that matters. Each of them is a, a tiny bit different, but all of them are kind of the same. And they're all authentic. And signed. Yay. Good stuff. Horizontal. Horizontal. Vertical. Vertical. <laughs> Never noticed that. And this rubber band is also really cool. Also branded. Frank Cho's Outrage Zine. I also got this one. 
Um, I'm not going to open it. It's one of these cases with um, with adult material and with... Uh, I'm going to put this on Patreon. This is exactly my stuff. This is exactly what I like. What I, what got me into, into art in the first place. And art books. The uh, Tommy Lee Edwards and everyone who works similar to this style. This rough and then uh, just some color and everything. And... But still, everything is exactly where it should be. This is my stuff. Then, Micah also brought me this, these here from Eric. Little bookies. Really good stuff. Get your hands on them. Uh, some prints. And, oh yeah. So, I also recently got these and these also will certainly uh, be on uh, Patreon and uh, not here because uh, yes, because uh, possible nudity. Reynaldo's work. I'm gonna check out this one. I'm gonna open this one. So this is uh, Sozo Maika's uh, Your Eyes Only Redux. So we were talking about doing this together and she was asking me specific things to be done in a certain way. And I was like, yeah, I, I can't do it that way. Like you gotta be in Micah's head uh, to know exactly that. And I can't, I, I tr always try to, to design a book how the artist would have done it if they would know what I know about book design. But in this case, this is more like a like a style book or like a journal, and only Micah herself could do this. So I'm happy I didn't work on that because this turned out great. Yeah. Amazing. <clears throat> and thank you, Micah. I got some stickers. And I also got these amazing uh, comics with uh, with cover art from uh, from Micah signed, and um, <clears throat> and I got this print, which is still not up my wall, but it will be because I already know where. This is amazing, number seventy of five hundred, and it's a really good print, like technically really good. Um, I got some books from uh, from from Flesk. Um, so I got this one here, uh, the Craig Elliot, the Art of Craig Elliot, and uh, Craig is one of the kindest persons I've ever met who were ever introduced to me. I think yes. So this is also very very much nudies, uh, and I will look into this. But I will look into this on. Guess what? Patreon. Um, yeah. Same with this one. Uh, Jim Silka. Great work. I think it's not that nude. I can probably flip through it very fast. Ah, YouTube don't look. There you go. Yeah. Frank shows Ballpoint Beauties. Frank shows Pencil and Ink. I got another one from Frank Show. I think it was Drawing Beautiful Women. And I got the big tease from Bruce Tim. Uh, I also reviewed the other book from him, uh, the naughty and nice one. And uh, this one is as a came as a hardcover with a print. And the first image already is a, a naked woman uh, showing more than I can show here on YouTube. So these also will go to Patreon. That was it. That's the L.A. haul. Thank you so much for watching. It uh, really took me way too long to put all this together. Uh, there are quite some books that I'm going to do uh, more detailed reviews. Most of it will probably go to Patreon because it's uh, adult stuff. Uh, I also got some books from, from Japan recently. Uh, uh, thanks to uh, Scott for sending them to me. Um, one of them is the Dominatrix book uh, from um, Terada, 
and Sorayama and Rock and Jelly Bean. And this will also go on Patreon because, yes, that is very, very adult. Uh, I also have like some art books here from, from um, Ashley Wood and, and uh, what else? Um, the Active Measures uh, uh, books that I have here. Then is the Anime Architecture. Then is The Batman, The Art of the Batman. Really great movie. Um, I'm going to look through all of them. I just need to find a time for it. Uh, thank you for everybody on Patreon and on Discord for keeping me entertained with this. Um, just a little add-on. I'm not really much into this entire YouTube thing. I'm not watching much YouTube content made like this here. But it really is something else to do that and get the interaction from it and talk to like-minded people. I've been really enjoying this in the past months, putting all this together. I wish I could do more. Uh, that time would allow it. I probably should take an entire year off in producing everything that I really want to produce, but I can't. But for everything that I could do right now and your responses for it, I thank you so much. And um, please don't forget, consider donating for the cause for Ukraine uh, and the people there. And please spread the word about everything that is going on in Iran. Uh, these women are fighting the good fight. And um, yeah, don't forget these things happen. With everything that is happen happening in our life, these things are happening too. With AI apocalypse happening, this is also happening. So please consider sharing at least the news and please also consider to donate. Well, this was a lot of an epilogue. Thank you so much again. And uh, until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>